Each participant in a Notion workspace is one of four types of users. We have workspace owners, membership admins, members, and guests. And each of these user types has its own permissions and methods of joining the workspace. So within this hierarchy, workspace owners have maximum privileges while guests have the fewest. And these user types, they were refreshed from their previous versions in the summer of 2022 as a reflection of Notion's focus on larger teams. So whether you're an experienced Notion user or you're brand new to the app, you're sure to find some benefit in this comparison. And as we explore their differences, keep in mind that user types are different from sharing and team space permissions. I cover sharing and team space permissions in dedicated Notion A to Z lessons and other published resources. So workspace owners exist in every workspace across all plans. So if you're using the free personal plan, then you're the workspace owner. You'll have no membership admins or members, but you can invite up to five guests. So workspace owners can manage workspace settings and they can delete the workspace. And on applicable plans, they can bulk manage users of every type as well as groups and team spaces. So within their settings, the workspace section contains many options unseen by other users. And workspace owners also determine how members join a workspace. So that could be through individual invitations, through a share URL, or by using an email address associated with an approved domain. So workspaces should have few, if not just a single workspace owner. And at a company, it's really a best practice to make the designated Notion champion the workspace owner. If you're not familiar with Notion Champions, it's a formal program offered by Notion. And then on enterprise plans, membership admins can assist with the management of members, guests, and groups. They can view, add, and remove them in bulk, but membership admins cannot access workspace settings. So at a larger company, C-level executives may serve as membership admins, whereas team managers are really better suited to be members and the team space owners for their applicable team spaces. And then on team and enterprise plans, members are full participants of a workspace and the price of the team plan is per member. So members can access pages shared with everyone in the workspace. They can participate in team spaces and be designated as team space owners. They can create private pages to use independently or to share with specific users, and they can be added to groups. So at a company, full-time staff are typically members of the workspace. And then guests of a workspace are invited to individual pages, and by default, the subpages of those pages. They don't join the full workspace. So they can only see the pages that they have permission to access and they're unable to create private pages or access pages shared with everyone, with groups or with team spaces. So at a company, contractors and other external collaborators are typically invited to individual pages as guests. And all plans support guests, but the free personal plan, as I mentioned, only allows up to five. So in the Notion VIP post and Notion A to Z lesson that correspond with this video, you'll find a visual of this comparison of user types, which you can continue to reference as sort of a cheat sheet. And I'll link to that from within the video description.